Okay, hello everybody. I think it's working out pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to painting. And thank you so much for watching along. I'm painting the beautiful carousel horse from an original photograph that I took in Momor, France many years ago. Hopefully by the end of the year you will be able to paint on with me, paint uh, online with me. And I'll just keep working toward that goal. Okay, painting right up in this area here, right up in this area here with the up in there. I don't have everything lined up exactly, even, but you can see. Uh, and I'm working on the French bouquet over here with the pink in it. Okay. Moving right along. Free, no copyright music for YouTubers, courtesy of King Line. Who would have ever thought in a million years? I would have been a YouTuber. And what I was telling you a while ago to always watch your areas so that you will be aware of what's on your palette 
and what's left to be painted in a certain area is exactly what I was doing right here. I knew that I needed to come back in up here and fill that area in darker and I was waiting for that to dry and I was waiting till the moment presented itself that I had that color on my brush and I could move back in and darken this area up. It's background negative space and that was a perfect time to do it. It was just now and if you look right here negative space right up in there between the rail and when a negative space butts up to something it makes the area below or above or adjacent pop like right here it's gonna make this pink pop by me coming up in here and darkening this negative space and it's such a dark negative space it goes right through the railing Sometimes what you're butting up to will be in front of the negative space or behind it. And sometimes it will disappear. If you're just learning, if you're new to painting, it may not make sense to you now. But uh, if when I get the YouTube channel to where people can log in and choose what to paint and follow along with me, I can, I can have hundreds of people painting at the same time. On different subjects because I would just paint them once they would be on YouTube and then whatever the person uh, wanted to log in and paint they would have the freedom to choose their own subjects and paint in the privacy of their home well anyway what I'm trying to say is the method of realism that I teach painting from your photographs like you're seeing me do right here it's just a, such an awesome way to learn to paint. You can paint your life's travels, your family, your children's happenings, your grandchildren. You can paint your interests. You can paint your passion. You can paint your, your uh, hobbies. You can paint anything you want to paint. Once you learn to paint, you can paint for the rest of your life. So it's an awesome skill set to have. Okay, so enough about, enough about that. You see what I'm doing now? I'm just skipping along as I come up to an area that I have the paints on the canvas below. I'm going back and I'm adding them in. I'm going back some areas I'm going and I'm darkening up. Some areas I have to go back to adjust a contour of a shape. Some areas I have to go back to lighten up and define a shadow. That's why it looks like when I go back to an area that appeared to be finished before, it may have been finished to your eye, but to the trained eye, it was not finished. To, my, to the artist that I am, it was not finished. It meant that I had just painted all I could paint at that particular time in that area. Uh, sometimes I have to let something dry. Sometimes I have to move on for other reasons that you'll start to learn as you paint. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll make a mental note when I have to move on where I need to come back. Okay, and this is a mental note two places that I had made earlier. I had made a mental note that once I filled in this area here with the black that I just filled in, I would have to come back and I would have to make the half moon white area around it. You may not could do that as quickly if you were working in oils because white and black adjacent to each other could have made gray. Okay, so while I've got the white on the brush, I see right here, the little area here is white as well. And these were mental notes that I had made earlier as I was painting.
this area right in here is a little too fat. So I'm going to shave off an area. Watch me here. If something's a little too wide, I just come in and shave it off. And then always go out a bit. So awesome. Painting on a Sunday afternoon. I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on LSU Lakes. You might say, how can you stay inside on a Sunday afternoon by LSU Lakes? Well, I have, I'm retired. I ride uh, 30 to 50 miles with Baton Rouge Bike Club during the week. And sometimes I have to rest, <laughs> rest my body since I'm 65, and that was the case yesterday. I got invited to go to several things, and I was too tired to go. I wanted to rest. I had to rest. Be in tune with your body. You only have, you only live once. Wanna take good care of yourself. And I try to do all those things. Okay, since I've got the black on my brush, what I'm gonna do, I've been working in this area diligently. I'm not finished with it, of course I'm not. But I do have, I see this area dark here underneath the stairwell, and I don't, and I have the black on my brush, and I don't wanna waste it. So I'll just go ahead over here, off the edge of the canvas, it appears like, you know, in the, in the negative space at the back of the, back of the carousel horse and it's night well I mean it's, it's day you can tell by the light here but up in here it it's reminiscent of night okay so just going to dab some of these areas that are lighter with the darkness on my brush to be consistent with graduating from one air graduation Graduating from one area to the next. Have a little bit of metallic and a little bit of the white that was on my palette adjacent. It's okay. Just gonna go ahead and spread this in here. I'm making the scrub in motion here. Just making sure that I cover all of the little pores on the canvas. The tooth of the canvas, the bumpiness of it. Make it blend.
Just kind of pausing here to see where I'm at. The lights are going to come right here. Block in where those lights are going to go. And that's the orange. I'm boundarying this area in right here. Coming down to the saddle on the horse. Now, the reason I chose to boundary that in I'm getting out of my Sharpie um, covered area and I'm getting into my graphite paper area. Right in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this up. It's not the right color I need. It's kind of, kind of, kind of a green color. But all I'm doing is boundarying this area of background illuminated light in this area on top of the illuminated lights up below the beautiful ornamental um, architecture design here you'll see that there's some reflections of some light back in here and actually it's a little higher it's about this height right here So I'm getting that in there. So we can start to continue to move on down here where I do not have the lines sharpened in. So I have to be careful where I'm painting. I can't paint through them because I will lose my way of where I am. So that looks perfect back in there. Now I can start with the iron. Now, I can't go real fast with background colors here like I did over here because I'm gonna lose the graphite lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what, what I call this is I'm going to prepare, the video is at 17 minutes. So what I'm fixing to do now, I'm going to prepare the canvas to an, where I can start when I come back. So what I'm going to do when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of this green foliage down here in front of... Actually, it's behind. I said in front. Behind the stairwell in the background here. You see the foliage back in there. Okay, and then what I'll do, um, I'll go ahead right, right now. I see an area while I've got black on the canvas, but I'll, I'll go on it and I'll add this in right here. Uh, if you see, on top of the lights right here, and around the horse's ear and up over his eyeball is very black. Let's see if you can see where I'm at. Let's see if you can see me painting right in here. Yes, okay. Okay, so what I'll do since I have the black on the brush, on the palette, I'll go ahead and fill this in right now. Like I said, I'll be preparing the area to paint for when we start back again. I will put some green on the palette and we'll start to move across here and we'll finish this while we're up in there. But as you can see, a, a canvas with this much, a painting with this much detail takes a while, but you will have a beautiful masterpiece when it's all over. A family heirloom for years. And with me being a teacher and with me having, you know, uh, my, I've worked construction was my living and I was married and all. So anyway, I, I my income was not from my art. Okay. And then, uh, but I had quite a bit of classes going on. So I had teaching, uh, 
experience and students for 14 years. And so I was a teacher and I just painted the beautiful things that from my photographs, from me traveling and everything. And they were like, so special to me. My home was, I had a 20 year art collection in my home. And uh, when I flooded and all of that flooded, a lot of it flooded, not all, everything, but most of it did. I thought, well, you know something? Uh, those were originals and all that I had, I thought eventually that I was going to uh, print prints from. And I still have a lot of those photographs and I didn't. So I took reflection uh, after the flood and I said, well, you know, I've lost my body of work. I have to repaint it. Some of the things I wanted to repaint because they were had sentimental value and um, I like my Mardi Gras collection. And I may repaint that. Painted some up one already. But anyway, long story short, what I'm trying to say is I thought perfect timing to start with the videos. The things that I paint now, new, or whether I'm painting something back, I will video. And then others can uh, paint with me online, and that will be my new classes. They won't be in a building. My daughter said, Mom, people don't want to go to a building and commit to two and a half hours of doing anything anymore. Times have changed. They want to go online to buy. They want to go to Amazon. They want to go to Etsy. They want to go wherever. <laughs> and they want to do their classes online. So it sounded good to me. So I'm getting under this ear. Of the carousel horse. Okay, and now you can see that I've prepared the area uh, over the horse's eye, underneath this decorative face, and around this ear. Okay, so that's uh, really, uh, you can see I'm really moving along here today. Okay, probably about an hour and a half, hour and a half of painting today. Maybe a total of two hours before then. Three and a half hours probably on this whole canvas. And I'm not a third of the way through. Probably when I finish this, I would say I'm a third of the way through. Okay, I'm gonna sign off from now for now. I'm Carol Gray in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thank you for joining me, everyone.